tonight. The exhibit is called Windows of Genius, and it is part of a collection of Dr. Daryl Treffert, who is a psychiatrist who is an expert in the savant syndrome. I started a children's unit at the Winnebago Mental Health Institute in Oshkosh in 1962, and we had 30 youngsters on that unit, most of whom were autistic and really severely disabled, but uh, three or four of them caught my attention. One uh, lad had memorized the bus system of the city of Milwaukee, and if you told him the bus number at the time of day, he'd tell you what corner that bus is going by just then. Another little guy uh, who was mute, uh, but you could put a 200-piece jigsaw puzzle on the table upside down, and he'd put it together just with the geometric shapes, like with the rhythm of a sewing machine doing that. So I got interested in these uh, people who had uh, some kind of uh, limitations, but had what I call the islands of genius. They tend to be uh, skills in art, music, calendar calculating, lightning calculating, and visual spatial skills. Whatever the skill, it's always combined with a massive memory. I'd seen the exhibition and thought it looked you know, amazing, and I just kind of wanted to learn more about the savant syndrome. Seeing other people's levels of creativity is always amazing, what anybody, you know, everybody can do. Art, music, mathematics, and, and visual spatial skills all have a sort of a pattern recognition quality to them. There's a, there's a, a certain symmetry, and it's the, it's the rigid structure and the pattern recognition that seems to, to weld the, those conditions together. One of the things, though, about savant art, which is somewhat different than other kinds of art, is the force behind it. There is a compulsivity and an obsessiveness. They have to sculpt, they have to draw, they have to paint. And so sometimes it's as much of a force as it is a gift. With savants, there is a satisfaction that comes uh, from doing that. And, and the feedback they get uh, builds self-esteem and, and self-worth. Beyond that, it, it has a, uh, an ability also to expand their language acquisition, their social skills, and their daily living skills to, to see how you can turn uh, a, a disability into an ability and all of the good that, uh, that, that, that can come from that. And um, when Daniel Tammet wrote the forward to my book, uh, he, he expressed it as being differently abled rather than disabled. And I thought that was a, an excellent characterization of savant syndrome.